Believe it or not, color plays a huge role in your overall health. And right now we're covering everything orange and whether or not you have to worry if something on your body turns that shade of citrus. Your tongue can tell you a lot about your health. A normal healthy tongue is usually pink in color, has a light white coating, and is proportionate in size to your mouth. But if your tongue looks abnormally white and pasty, it may be the sign of an infection. If it's a little too red, it may be a sign of certain nutritional deficiencies. But what is your tongue trying to tell you when it has turned an unusual shade of orange? Well, orange, orange, you guys glad we're doing this segment? Yeah. Uh, I get it. Is this the color? I get it. Hey, let, let's start with the orange tongue phenomena. And you know how yellow and orange are right next to each other on the color spectrum? Mm -hmm. What I'm about to say really more so may apply to that yellowish tint because it's mm -hmm. very common to have kind of that yellowish orange tongue Usually it's due to bacterial overgrowth or an imbalance we call in the flora on your tongue, maybe something you ate. Mm -hmm. yep. It can also be a fungal infection and smokers are more often going to see it. But the biggest thing, if you're noticing this little coating, step up your oral hygiene. Yeah. And mm -hmm. one of the most important things you can do is obviously floss, brush, oral rinse, but you can try a tongue scraper yeah. as well. Yeah to help work some of that flora off your tongue and see if it goes away. And your partner will appreciate you for that. They really will. <laughs> All right, so let's okay. move on because orange reflects itself on other parts of our body. We received an email from Justin in St. Louis who writes, Dear doctors, I recently noticed that the palms of my hands and soles of my feet have a slight orange tint to them, so much that other people are even noticing. I'm an athlete, so I'm not sure if it's something I'm doing wrong or something that I'm eating in my diet that's causing this. What could this mean and should I be worried? Cheetos! What's up, Doc? <laughs> so, I mean, very commonly, we will see an orange discoloration of the skin in people who take excessive amounts of either the supplement beta carotene or foods like carrots, squash, even some types of citrus. Mm -hmm. And we have to remember, beta carotene is kind of the precursor to vitamin A, which is a fat-soluble vitamin. So this isn't something that's going to happen with, you know, one episode of eating a lot of carrots. This typically takes weeks. Yeah. And sure. this gets absorbed from our GI tract. It goes to the liver. The liver gets saturated, kind of overwhelmed, and it leaks out into the well, fatty be, tissues. Well, let's be very clear. I mean, unless you, you have liver disease, which can make this appear much faster, it requires a large amount of carotene. Huge. Which yeah. 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 was never know, really an thing. issue until the supplements started coming out. And there are people who will take these massive right. supplements. So yeah. if you are if you are developing it, basically stop any supplementation you're, mm -hmm. you're taking at that point in time. And, and it should theoretically. And it's not harmful, right? but you know. And orange can reflect a lot of different things when it comes to your health. But what does it mean when it makes its way into your nose? I've been suffering from sinus infections for several years, and sometimes the mucus is a bit orange. Can that be dangerous? Is it a problem I should be worried about? And Karen has bravely <laughs> agreed to join us in our audience because you've dealt with a lot of sinus infections. You've actually seen orange in your mucus. Yes. Did you bring us a sample? <laughs> Thankfully, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We'll just make your word for it. Right now? And that's not my... <laughs> That's not your nose? No, that's not my nose. Is, no, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. But tell, tell us when you've been experiencing this. I've just had chronic sinus infections all my life. And so, you know, twice a year I even miss work sometimes because of it. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, it can be tinged orange. When you're seeing orange, it, it most likely is yellow, the kind of typical yellow mucus of a sinus infection or chronic allergies or something mixed with a little blood. Okay, and then red and yellow kind of makes that orange color. So kind and of like uh, if you mixed that part that of color, with that, that part color. of rice? You yes. Get exactly. Nice exactly orange. Exactly like that. Good and, one. Uh, now the blood is there usually because the, the membranes of the nose are either dried out mm -hmm. or irritated from, from all maybe too much blowing or too much of the finger. Especially <laughs> oh. if, if it's kind of an oddly shaped color, color orange and if there's a really foul smell to it, then I would also worry, is there something, a foreign body stuck mm -hmm. up in mm -hmm. your nose? I see that in kids a lot. Mm -hmm. Maybe a toy gets stuck up in there, or yes. a piece of candy <laughs> gets rotten, and then you get kind of a, a really gross orange coming out. So Are you doing any saline rinses? Would, I do saline in the shower the every thing. morning. Good. Yeah, that's, that's the first thing I suggest. If you if the membranes are that irritated that you're getting blood, a neti pot or nasal saline sprays. I, I had to do this all last week. I kind of had a little bout of allergies, and it was just bag coming out. But it's kind of nice to see that stuff draining out until it comes clear and then you're kind of in the clear for a while. Also, you got to be careful how you people blow their nose. Mm -hmm. People really kind of 
whale. Right. And they like, you know, they go at it and they, you know, your capillaries are very tiny blood vessels that are in your nose and it's very easy mm -hmm. to, you know, to burst your capillaries while blowing too hard so that you can mm -hmm. Gentle. Well, yes. Karen, today we're glad that your shirt is the color <laughs> orange and that it actually, <laughs> that you didn't bring any orange mucus for us, but thank you for asking. Yeah. <laughs>